I'm at a stoplight, myself and my son, about three weeks ago. All of a sudden, boom, I got hit from behind. The kid was most likely texting. Uh, he was driving about 13 miles an hour, and my bumper got pretty dinged up. Um, I was okay, he was okay, my son was okay, everything was fine, but we have to really kind of help dissect the thing so we can know actually what happened. We've all been in car accidents, I think, you know, a lot of people have. Maybe I'm just a terrible driver, I don't know. But we've all been in car accidents, and what I want to share today is some of the coolest stuff that we've learned in what's called accident reconstruction. So first thing, <clears throat> if a car is hit, let's say a car is hit at one mile an hour, is there going to be any damage to the car? No. If a car is hit at 50 miles an hour, is there going to be damage? There's going to be a ton. So a car is designed to absorb some force. So I, uh, an average car is going to be able to withstand between like a five and 10 mile an hour accident and actually not have any damage. But what we have to understand is that above that speed, so let's say 10, 15, 20, and all the way up, there's going to be damage to the car. But if there's no damage, is there no force? And that's what's interesting, is if a car gets hit, let's say a car gets hit at eight miles an hour, there's no damage to the car, well, all that force has to go somewhere, right? Where is that force going? It's actually going into the occupants of the vehicle. It's going to, it's going, the force is going into what's inside the vehicle, you. And so what we found and what the research has shown is that there's actually less force that goes into the body at higher speeds because as the vehicle deforms or crumples or gets jacked up, as that happens, then the, the, the vehicle absorbs some of the force and less of it is transmitted into the person. So the, just the one kind of egghead thing that I think was the, one of the neatest things I learned was that a 32 mile an hour accident created 10 G's of force, 10 times gravity into the head and neck. And that's a lot. But a 10 mile an hour accident actually created 13 G's of force into the head and neck. Now, what that means is that lower force accidents can actually do more things to the body. So anyway, I found that fascinating, and this is one of the reasons why we have to properly diagnose and treat the mechanics of the spine. Have a great day, guys.